This tutorial will show you how to create a smart notebook lab activity or a lesson activity builder. So inside smart notebook, and again, you can open smart notebook by going to your magnifying glass and typing in notebook and it should pop up and you can click that to open. Once notebook is open on the top tabs, the fourth to the right will say insert and you can click insert smart lab activity. So if you click that, you have some different options for your activities that you can do. You can do a super sort, which is a sorting activity. So you can sort things like nouns and verbs, even numbers and odd numbers, consonants and vowels, different things from various subject areas. You can do a shout it out, which is also mobile enabled. So if you have iPads, you could get students involved on their own personal iPad as well. You have rank order, which is a ranking system where you can have students put things in chronological order from a story. You could have them rank things from smallest to largest. You could have them rank things according to their opinion, so best to worst, something like that. There is a flip out game, which is a flipping, kind of like a flashcard type of game where you can have things on the fronts and backs of different cards and then they flip it to show what the answer is. So you could have a vocab word and a definition or you could have um, a question and answer type of back and front of the cards. There's a close or fill in the blank activity where you can write a passage and then select specific words to be the blanks and then they have a word key at the bottom that they will use to fill in the blanks. You can do a matching game called match em up where you can um, drag the correct answer into the correct spot. A label reveal where you will put an image, whatever image you choose, and then you can have labels and pointing to different items. So here you see that they have labeled the different parts of a cell. So you could use that in an activity. Um, this speed up is a race game where they answer multiple choice questions and then the faster they answer, they go faster than the other racers and can win. So that could be a review game. Monster quiz is also mobile enabled and this is another, could be used as a review game. Um, again, they're answering multiple choice questions and it's a race to finish the game. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna just show you the very first one, the super sort as an activity. So once you select which activity you want, you will just click um, add, add this activity. Now the ones that are mobile enabled, you would have to create an account and sign in to add that activity if you wanna do that. So if you have any, if you wanna do a mobile enabled and you have any trouble, just email Ivy Nelson and um, I will help you with that. So I'm gonna do the super sort. So I'm gonna click add this activity and then you have lots of different options and inside your different options, you have more options as well. So I could pick this sort in space and I can look like Mars with the red, or red ground or it could be the moon. I can do the just jungling and I have these two little jungle huts and I can make it to where it's an, in an, on an island or in the jungle. So you can, um, change there's lots of different options to do your you know for your your game here so I'm gonna do the cannon blast because that's pirate themed for the pirates so I'm gonna click next and then this is where we will put our different categories so let's do even numbers and then you'll list out your even numbers and it says it gives you the directions right here. It says you can add up to 10 items separated by pressing tab or enter after each item. And then you can, it says all, you can also add from list. So um, for the even numbers, I'm gonna just do,
and it lets you do up to 10 numbers. And then on the right cannon, I'm going to click over here for the right cannon, and I'm going to say odd numbers. So I'm going to enter my odd numbers here. So Then I'm going to click next and you can add a game component to this as well. So if you want to add a different, um, something to kind of, you know, mix it up and add some fun to your game, there's a timer so you can give, you know, up the stakes a little bit by giving students a time limit. You can do a dice to pick a number at random. So maybe you have your students numbered. Um, you can do the dice roll to give a different to pick a number for you. You can do a hat pick and this one's kind of cool because it can have you can pick students or items so you can actually have it pick a name out of a hat of your students and you just simply type in the students names um, or you can have it pick an item out so let's say it would pick four and you would tell it, whether four goes to the evens or odds. So then that would be what what you do in that situation. Buzzer, students can compete to see who goes next. So then they actually like hit the buzzer and that means that they're done kind of like, you know, in chess, how they hit the little timer. And um, so that can be fun for if you're making a game or a competition out of it. And then the spinning wheel will randomly select students or items in your activity. I like the spinning wheel, so we're gonna click add next to that. And then you see the different options you have with the spinning wheel. So you can have it select the sorting category. So you'd spin it and it would tell you even or odd. So you'd have to select an even number or odd number. It can give you the sorting items, like two, four, one, three, and then you have to tell that. It will give you a number, so a number from one to 23, if each of your 23 students in class is, has a number assigned to them, so then they know it's their turn, or a student list. So you can create, again, it gives you the instructions right here, you can add up to 100 items, you could have 100 students in there, and then you'll just type in their name, hit enter, type in the next name, hit enter, until you have all your students listed out. So I'm going to do sorting categories, and I will click finish, and just within a few seconds, the Smart Lab has now generated itself. So how cool does this look? There's also up here, you notice there's sound that's off. There's a refresh button and an edit button. So if you turn the sound on, it's very suspenseful type of, you hear water in the background and then some suspenseful music. So that kind of adds to the, the, you know, if you're doing a competition, it kind of adds some, some angst to it for the students. And then there's a refresh. So when you've completed the game, you can hit refresh. And then you can also hit the little pencil up here that is to edit. So you can go back and you can edit. So let's say you were sorting um, different words. You could, and maybe you misspelled a word, you could go back and edit it to change that. So I'm going to show you with this, I'm gonna, I'll turn the sound on and then I'll show you what it does when we put the even and odd numbers in the right and wrong places. So now I'm gonna do an incorrect answer. Oh, and it just shoots it right back out into the middle, so then I know it's wrong. So then that's how you would complete the game, and when all your cannonballs are gone, then you can hit refresh, and you can start the game over again. Now we also on the side you notice you have this mobile activity one. So if, if this is a mobile enabled game and students are playing on their own iPads, that will be um, where you'll track that activity. And then underneath you have the spinning wheel that we added to the game. So if we click the spinning wheel, I'm going to turn the sound back on and show you what it does. So it spins and it tells us odd numbers. 
so now, according to the spinner, I have to pick something that's an odd number and put it in the odd number cannon. Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll try the spinning wheel again. And it has sounds as well. Oh, now evens. So now we'll pick an even number and put it in the even number cannon. And the students would play this they could play this at the board, so they would actually go up to the board and click the board and drag the cannonball over into the cannon to shoot it. So that is how you create and play a lesson activity builder. It is very fun, it looks incredible, and it can be made in just a matter of minutes.